Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we are in the F16C, we have a revised cold start with normal INS alignment. Note that there are four types of INS alignment in the F16C. This is what we call the normal alignment, so it's one of four, and this is only relevant to the normal alignment, not the other three. Let's begin the procedure with the main power switch. Right click, right click again to main power. Next, we're going to close our canopy. Left, control, and Charlie. Keep your finger on it until it stops moving. Next, secure and lock by clicking left click on this guy here. Next, left click jet fuel switch to start two. Next, we're going to watch our RPM gauge and wait till the engine stabilizes at 20%. Next, we're going to uncage our throttle handle with right shift and home. Next, we're going to wait until the RPM counter gets to idle at just above 60% and settles. Next, right and rear to our avionics power switches. UFC, left click, MFD, left click, ST, STA, left click, MMC, left click, GPS, left click, DL we do not need on, mids, LVT, right click to on. We're now at the point in our startup procedure where we want to do our alignment. So we're going to go list, and from the list we're going to go six for INS. Six there. This is the INS panel. This is the amount of decibel minutes that we've been waiting for the alignment. We've not started alignment yet. This is the quality of the alignment. It counts down from 99 down to 6. 99 being the worst, 6 being the best. I'll put a cutout from the flight manual here showing exactly what the different stages mean. Here is our current steer point. Here is our current best known lat and long position of where our aircraft is now. Here is our current best known system altitude, 104 feet ASL. Here is our current known true heading. And here is our current known ground speed. Next thing, we need to head to our... EGI INS knob down here. We're going to put it to norm. So you can see our time counting up in decimal minutes and quality of our INS alignment is increasing as this number goes down according to the chart. Now at this point we need to check our position is correct. Now we can actually do that before we started the alignment or we can do it during the alignment like this. If we're going to do it during the alignment like this you have to do it, complete it within the first two minutes otherwise the alignment resets which isn't the end of the world but it's just the thing you should know. So I want to check that this lat long and altitude is correct. So I've noted them down in my notepad. I'm now going to hit F10. Find my aeroplane. There I am. I'm going to zoom in as much as I possibly can. Hover over my aeroplane with the mouse. Look at the top left. You can see that we are currently in the wrong type of unit. So left and Yankee and again until we get decimal minutes which is that's how the F-16 works in decimal minutes so we've got 25, 19, 05, 55, 31, 104 so it turns out and 98 feet remember that that 98 feet there is the ground the INS box is about 6 feet above the ground so that's the differential between the 98 and the 104 so we don't need to change any of these but let's just say that we had to for some reason let's just pretend so we're going to unpause and we're going to show you how to change these as ever for the DED manipulation we're going to use our dobber we can move up and down the items like this if we wanted to change the north, we would hit 2 for north, and then we would hit uh, 25, 19, 5, and then we would go enter. That's that entered, and we can change it if we need to. Dobber down. Now, even if you don't need to change any of these, it's very important that you highlight them with the dobber, and you press enter on them. If you don't do that, the INS alignment will not work. Down here, enter. So I've now changed that one, even though I didn't actually do a change. I entered that, I've entered that, and I've entered that. Out of interest, let's just go and check the true heading is correct. Remember, you get true heading in the F10 map. We're going to click on me. True heading of 122, two, that's right. We're going to leave it to a line now. I'm going to speed it up as you can watch this head downwards. Now note, at 60 odd, you get red ready here, and it's not flashing, which means that we can technically go here, but it is still aligning. So in a scramble situation, we could go off and shoot down the MiGs, but it's not ideal and we've got a line showing here at the moment in the hub. It's best practice to wait the whole eight minutes, currently 1.9 minutes, wait the whole eight minutes until we are at the maximum amount of alignment accuracy until we head off. So while that continues, let's continue with our start procedure. So left panel, IFF, right click to norm, C and I knob, make sure it's right to UFC. Next to the backup ADI here, we're going to scroll up to the medium position to uncage and we'll tune that. Next to center panel, we're gonna get rid of our stick by clicking there. We're gonna turn our left click fire control radar, left click radar altimeter, uh, sorry, right click that will be. Uh, we've got the hard points either right and left, depending if we've got, for instance, the T-Bot on, then we're gonna need the relevant switch on, but I've got nothing on today. Next, HUD brightness, scroll up to turn the HUD on. 
Next, we're going to turn our RWR on, power. We're going to turn our CMDS, our countermeasure system, on. Right click, right click. I'm going to go to manual, but choose whichever you want to use. We're going to have our chaff on, we're going to have our flare on, and that will do for now. Next, seat on the seat with that there. Next, interior and exterior lights. Interior lights here, exterior lights here, as required. Next, check the advisory panel, make sure we've got no warnings. Fast forwarding now until our number here counts down to six. You can see we're now at our full accuracy of six. We've gone past the eight minutes that we need. Ready is flashing and essentially that is the alignment done. Back to our INS knob, nav for operation. That is our aircraft setup and ready to go.